Hello and welcome to The Main Cave. Now in today's video, we are going to be looking at this. Now this is the Devoom Pixu 64. And for the purposes of the video, I've split it up into two parts. The first being all about the hardware and the second being the software. So if you're new here, we make regular videos on gaming and technology for your smart home. So please do consider subscribing as we may make a video to make your life easier. and I wouldn't want you to miss out. So do hit that subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So what is this then, the Pixu 64? Now, if you don't know then, Devoom make products that are simply there to really look cool. And if you want, give a bit of information such as the weather, stock prices, etc. They come in various sizes and I have three in the main cave. I have the 16, the 32, which is called the Max, and the 64, and all made up of square pixels, unsurprisingly, of 16, 32, and 64 along one side. So this one is the 64 by 64, which means there's a huge 4,096 pixels of real estate to show information. Now I'll talk about the software later, as I said, but this thing can show you loads. The other one I have, the 16, is mainly for small images, but this one, the 64, takes it to the next level. You can pick it up for about £150, but do get it on your wish list as it regularly drops in price on Amazon, and I've seen it as low as 120 on a good day. As I've said, this video is split into two, and the chapters are linked in the description below, and I'm going to start off with the hardware. So the unboxing is a decent experience, with it being well packaged to protect the screen. It also comes with a fantastically braided, branded USB-C cable, but unlike the 16 and the 32, the 64 doesn't have an inbuilt battery, so it does need to be plugged in for it to work. When you have it in your hands, it really feels premium. It's heavy at 740 grams, and the plastic rear is of a hard plastic, which extends all the way around the front to the one centimeter bezel, which wraps all the way around. On the top is a one quarter inch screw mounting hole, on the right is a power button and brightness rocker. On the bottom are two further one inch mounting screw holes. On the rear panel is a wall hanging picture hole. And just above that is a removable piece which can be used as a stand. This is my preferred method as it stands on my setup with the cable running down and behind into the wall for power. Also in the rear is a TF card which need to be in for it to work. It's full of files that's needed for the Pixu to work and I haven't really played about with it that much at all. I haven't really needed to. So when it's on a screen that you're happy with, more of that in a bit, it looks fantastic. It's bright, it's clear, it's colourful, it's a real showpiece of any setup. And as far as hardware goes, I can't complain, it's stunning. So now onto the software, and this is where I, I ran into a few small problems, but spoiler alert, none of these are problems that are a deal breaker. I read some reviews of the 64 saying that it's not connecting, it constantly restarts and issues with night mode, etc. I had absolutely no issues with mine for the past few weeks of using this. It ran smoothly and did exactly as I was expecting it to. The problem I really have in the software, it doesn't match up to the high standards of the hardware. Not in that it's bad, it's just a bit confusing and lacking in some customization somewhere. Well, here's the deal. So I have mine set up and it turns off every night and it comes back on when I get into the main cave every day. Without fail, it comes on and shows my preferred screen. Beautiful. I have the weather clock face. It shows the date, time and day across the top. Then a nice graphic showing the current conditions, including temperature and highs and lows of the day. Then underneath, it shows the coming four days with highs and lows. It's perfect. Us Brits love the weather, so having this is spot on. So in the app then, once you've connected it via Wi-Fi to your Devoom, you fire it up, you can choose one of the presets if you want, or if you fancy it, you can create your own using one of the DIY presets. Now, the only reason I haven't done this, and this is probably one of its biggest problems across the app as a whole, it is quite confusing. It takes a lot of time and a lot of work to get what you want and how you want it, if you want something that is outside one of the presets. If you invest the time and effort, there's no doubt you can create your own DIY screen that is beautiful and perfect. But for me, I gave up when trying to add things that kind of like what I call widgets. This is really my issue and laziness on my part, but if the app had been a little bit more user-friendly, I may have done more with it. 
You can also in the app draw your own picture if you need to or download someone else's as someone else's created and uploaded. This is far easier because you can create your own and create your own GIF and animation, but again, it takes a lot of time. But with the app and the presets, there's loads of choices. There's also plenty more in the app in the settings. You can set things like night mode, which will dim the screen at a certain time. You set a default clock for it to wake up to. And a big plus for me is being able to change the date to the world standard format. There's loads to customize, which is a real bonus. Also, small things like rotating the display, mirror display, enhanced brightness is all there. There's loads. So for me, this is almost essential for someone who streams and wants something in the background. But for someone who just wants to have a nice piece in their room, then the price is the main consideration for you. I love this and have no issues of mine at all. And with all the customization, if you're willing to put the effort in to change things like start expos and the kerning, then you can get more out of it than I can. But for me, I'm happy with the date, the time and the weather every day and looking at making it look cool next to the TV. Okay, then go and then have a look at this then, the Divoom Pixu 64. If it's something you want for your games room, I highly recommend this. I think this is brilliant. If you want it to make it look even better than I have, you've just got to put the effort and the time in. Something that I don't really have. So have a look in the description below of where you can get this then, the Divoom Pixu 64. Please do like, please do subscribe to the next video. Bye-bye.